Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon, Blake Cousins, along with my brother Brent and Apollo Asteria, we're sharing with you incredible footage of the jellyfish. It's been making the news, but new footage has come in. Watch. Are we looking at what Corbell just dropped a few days ago? It's making the world news, but again, uh, we're looking at the phenomenon closely. And what's incredible is the incredible nature of the phenomenon being captured by people from around the world. And tonight's episode, we're going to be sharing a lot of evidence. So buckle up. Let's get to it. And right now, we're looking at this footage that has just come into third phase of moon. Brent, what's your thoughts? Yeah, we're just getting started. We're breaking down uh, pretty much the best jellyfish UFOs that I could gather uh, just within the past 24 hours. And this is a phenomenon right here. We're not looking at flare video. We have full color. And we're looking at something that people are saying the Corbell video looks like. It, it's not moving. There's no wavering in this object. In my opinion, I believe this is legit. What we're looking at is a phenomenon. You know, when I see this jellyfish phenomena, I'm noticing there's a lot more of this out there than I really, I thought was originally there besides Corbell's imagery that he's been putting out. But um, the first thing I think when I see it is that it's this bio-organic material. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely really interesting. It makes me wonder if maybe they can change shapes and morph. We're looking at the enhanced footage um, to the right of Corbell's video, seemingly showcasing that it seems to be rotating. I'm not exactly sure. Again, it's hard to tell if we're looking at some kind of smudge on the lens or uh, some kind of optic chip on the lens. But in this case, in this full color spectrum video, we're, we're seeing it right now that uh, whatever this is, it's up there in the sky. But it definitely looks very similar to what people are uh, stating that Corbell's video uh, that just recently dropped. Uh, Brent, again, the similarities, is, is it a coincidence? Uh, again, I've, I've got a plethora of these kind of objects that are floating. I'm just happy that we're seeing the exact uh, duplicate of what Corbell just dropped. Is it identical? Hard telling. But again, we're, we got much more videos coming up. Check this out. New stuff. Here we go. It's a scary sight soaring across Southern California. That speck in the sky is what appears to be a jetpack. At 3,000 feet, it's streaking past this pilot in a private plane. The close encounter just seven miles... <laughs> It's a scary sight soaring across Southern California. That speck in the sky is what appears to be a jetpack. At 3,000 feet, it's streaking past this pilot in a private plane. The close encounter just seven. Well, you guys remember this uh, a couple of years ago, about a year or so, we broke this uh, news on Third Phase Moon, shared uh, really good quality footage of this. Uh, jetpack man, people may be saying Elon Musk, uh, Bezos, who knows what's up. But uh, again, more footage of the same phenomenon. It's interesting we shared this footage again about a year ago but it's uh, nice to bring back the archive showcasing just the unusual the bizarro look at these animals these dogs they're they're sketched out on what this thing is and it seems like it's almost walking brent here yeah this was a a phenomenon again the dogs capture they're they're interested in what they're looking at they kind of create a pack of dogs surrounding this object or whatever it is it kind of seems like maybe a, a phantom some people might say a ghost you can see it kind of morphing as it kind of drops down your opinion you know i'm wondering if maybe the camera or whatever is filming this is picking it up but if we were actually looking at it in person if we would actually see it um because it, it almost looks slightly interdimensional or I don't know. It, it's really strange. It also makes me wonder if maybe it's like a short little gray guy, honestly. I mean, it's kind of interesting how this comes in the picture here. So we appreciate everybody joining us in this live premiere and uh, the comments keep coming in and we love your opinions from around the world. It really means a lot. We're just sharing with you the 
video evidence as it comes in right here at third phase moon and we've got a lot more for you tonight so hit that thumbs up guys what what do you think this surveillance captured uh camera captured it almost reminds me of the ghostbusters the what did, what do they call it brent slimer that's it so again who knows it's crazy and uh we don't have the answers but we have the footage i think we have some more just coming in watch this Now things are getting crazy. This video lasts for some time. Let's just uh, let it roll. Uh, notice that it seems to have some kind of legs walking along the street, captured by multiple surveillance cameras. Captured in 2018, but once again, we want to bring up this kind of unusual activity. The archive is vast right here at Third Phase Moon, and Corbell put out one video. We're sh showcasing many videos from around the planet just to uh, let people know that the phenomenon's real. But look at these two, this couple. They're tripping out on stuff here. They don't even know what they're looking at. Yeah, she just runs, she takes off. You can see that she's frightened. We're, we're getting a good close up. This thing seems to be maybe even walking, maybe some sort of cloaking, but you can see the shadow. It almost looks like it has this uh, levitation aspect to it at the same time. I like the, the shimmering dimensions that's bouncing off this object. You can see it kind of seems like maybe it's a, a morphed in some sort of other dimension, people might say. I, I really like the reaction of the people here. They just stand still. And they're like, I, I'm out of here. Here we go. Another good close up. What is this? You know, this definitely looks metallic in nature. You can see the light shining off these different parts and they seem to be moving around, but I'm noticing these little spindly legs under it, which is, I don't know. This is very interesting. I, maybe it's some sort of creature but it definitely shows this shadow underneath it on the ground so you can tell that there's definitely something there and obviously this couple seems to be pretty terrified with what they're seeing guys if you see anything like this get your cameras out maybe don't run away and just run towards it and get a better shot that's what i would do but uh, i could imagine people would freak out seeing uh, this kind of stuff if you're there in close proximity to the phenomenon it, who knows how you're going to react but at least the security surveillance cameras capture this and uh, these people's reaction it seems genuine guys i don't see any manipulation here what we're looking at it's there but maybe the digital artifact going on with a low res uh, camera shooting at night creates some kind of distortion and maybe it's just some something simple like some balloons just captured in some kind of subtle drifting uh, wind down the road. But again, hard telling, more footage into third phase moon. Brent, when you showed this to me earlier today, I was, I was saying, should we share it? And Brent says, hell yeah. So let's, let's do it right now. All right, so we're looking at this uh, again, a closer look of something happening that definitely seems very similar to, again, what Corbell captured, but uh, we're looking at looking at this in broad daylight. We're seeing a lot of parallax. We know that whatever this object is, it's up there in the sky. It, it looks very bizarre. I, I don't know what to make of it. Is a bundle of balloons. Look at these little orbs on the bottom of it. The uh, Vamana, I, I'm not sure, guys. 
Yeah, when it comes to uh, getting the best UFOs, this is pretty much it right here at Third Phase of Moon. Thanks, gang, for joining us tonight. Look at this. We're looking at something special right here. Again, this has been going on for hundreds of years. People have talked about these organic, maybe jellyfish, possibly organic things that could float in the sky that look anomalous, nothing like we've ever seen. This is a phenomenon, and that's what we're trying to find out. What I like about this is that, again, it's daylight. It's not flare footage. It's a, from a perspective from somebody on the ground that showcases uh, legitimately that something's up there. Corbell's video? People are on the fence. Uh, Mick West debunked it. Apparently, a lot of other people in the field are, have really skeptic opinions of what's being dropped. Again, this is unidentified. It's legit. We just don't know what it is. You know, these uh, sort of things that are underneath this UAP here, whatever it is. Um, I, at first, I was wondering if it was some sort of like jets that were, you know, pushing out fire underneath it. Or if it was, you know, something that's just kind of appearing and disappearing out of reality there. I don't know. It definitely looks kind of interdimensional to me, though. Or maybe it's like this morphing nanotechnology. Who knows? Interesting stuff. Again, uh, the evidence comes in. We've got more for you tonight. Hit that thumbs up if you're enjoying this episode. Let's roll it. A blue entity on the side of a highway, seemingly wanting to get to the other side, uh, captured night vision or s almost a potato. This footage is very uh, minimum here, but again, this footage has just come in. I think we shared this with you, but it's more of an extended version. Again, this phantom biological phenomenon around the world captured from people in multiple places. What the heck's going on here? This would freak me out if I was parked on a, a desert dark road and you saw this thing just fly over the top of your car, you'd be like wondering what's behind you at that moment. It kind of gives me chills on the back of my neck. Uh, is this some sort of hoax that people are, uh, maybe had something suspended by some wire and they created this illusion? But if this is uh, something that just happened by, by chance, we're looking at something strange and creepy. The first thing I see when I see this is Dementors from Harry Potter. That's the first thing that comes to mind for me, and it's definitely pretty terrifying. I mean, but also it could be a black plastic bag? I'm not sure. But uh, this video here, it definitely seems like something is trying to cross the road, and I don't know. I'm like wondering if it's like robotic or something, you know, like one of those uh, food delivery things. I mean, what are your thoughts, Brent? Yeah, looking at that, they kind of remind me of the Portuguese man o' war, the jellyfish here that's come in on our islands, on the shores. Uh, they could give you a bad sting, but they have that purplish hue. It looks exactly like that. Again, this video, again, showcasing uh, the phenomenon of these flying humanoids, uh, possible jellyfish. Some people say interdimensional beings that are popping in and out. Hard telling. We're looking at something that's being seen all around the world kind of on a daily basis. Uh, Jeremy Corbell dropped a video. Hey, we, we got about 10 videos on this uh, show tonight showcasing things that the world hasn't seen. Uh, we're just getting started. More videos coming up tonight. Thanks for joining us. Hit that thumbs up. Here we go. Check this out. So a close-up commercial airliner capturing what people might call the tic-tac, or is it maybe an airplane off at the distance and we're not seeing the wings in the tail. Uh, we wanted to share it with you. It, it looks interesting. I'm not seeing any FAA lights on this. We went frame by frame on it and there's no indication of that. So maybe it is a tic-tac. Obviously it's out there. Uh, it's one of ours. I don't believe it's ET in nature, but it, interesting stuff here. It definitely looks like a tic tac to me i really love this footage this is really some great footage here um if you're not familiar with the tic tacs you know this is definitely a phenomenon that appears over and over and you know a lot of people have said claim that you know maybe our government has 
these sort of uh, UAPs. So who knows? But I love seeing this footage. It's really great. This looks like something that uh, needs to be shared. Again, Tic Tacs, biological beings. This one, again, we had in the beginning. If you haven't joined us and you just uh, dropped in, this is something that we think is uh, more defining, more uh, information, data, everything that you could look at. There's a lot of information in all these videos. Uh, the ones that we dropped tonight, it's going to leave people questioning, and that's what it's all about. That's what we're here for trying to find the truth of what's going on. Everybody has an opinion and that's what it's all about. People from around the world, it's important that you have your eyes on the skies and continue to submit that footage to us right here at Third Phase Moon. Upload it to YouTube. We're sharing it. And again, we're looking at this and we can't explain to you what's going on. We can tell you that what we're looking at is legitimate footage and it's being captured from around the world. Poland, Los Angeles, anywhere that has a sky and somebody has a camera they're capturing it so what is really going on here and that's a big question and, uh, we don't have the answers but hopefully we could find out maybe somebody could recover these and get a lot closer and, and bring one of these down that's the whole point we we want to give you disclosure right here yeah once again guys if you've captured anything amazing you guys know what to do right Take out your camera, film it, upload it to YouTube, copy paste that information to my email. Uh, we're gonna post your videos if it's compelling enough. And we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the people from around the world. If you're in the right place at the right time, that's usually how it goes down. And uh, we're here for you and don't hesitate. We wanna share the evidence and keep it coming uh, from people like you. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. Be safe. We'll see you next time. Over now. Catch you next time.